right, man, I got another spring clothing haul for you guys. A bunch of new good pickups from various brands, like literally eight different brands in here. Some sneakers, some clothing, some stuff hanging behind me, some stuff sitting on my lap. All sorts of new things that I've been picking up recently, but all good stuff nonetheless. A lot to get into, so let's do all that right now. All right, so I'm going to be pretty brief with everything in this video, like real quick, like 30 seconds, hopefully, with each different item. Today, I was at the mall, which I am never at. I was getting the oil changed in my car, and I'm like, whatever, let me see what they got over there. And I found something at PacSun. So check these pants out real quick. We got some Velour Life up in the mix. These were on sale for 26 bucks. They are all velour with white piping going down the side. I can't say that I was actively out looking for velour pants because I actually have a couple pairs, but these ones kind of just jumped off the rack at me. I was like, what is up with those? I might throw some Air Force Ones on with these things and have like a 2002 Birdman type look going on with these joints. White Air Force Ones will be worn with those. Might even raise up a pant leg LL Cool J style. Okay, so in this box is a few new pickups from Everlane. I think there's three things in here. I opened this up just to see if this particular jacket was in here and it is, it's their new denim jacket. And then I forgot what else I ordered to be honest with you. So we're gonna find out. A lot of people had been asking me if I picked up the new Everlane denim jacket. And yes, yes I did because Everlane makes great products and this is their first denim jacket. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm not doing it justice by holding it up. Do I have a spare hanger anywhere? Spare hanger, spare hanger, spare hanger, spare hanger, spare hanger. No spare hangers, all occupied. But this jacket is really dope, man. It's very basic and straightforward. Like it's a denim jacket in a traditional blue jean denim color. And they did a great job with this. I feel like the retail price is 70 bucks. Is that what the retail price is on this jacket? Hold on. Un momento, it doesn't even say. I really just wanted to try this out to see if it was better quality than the Levi's denim jackets that I have, and it is. It is certainly better quality than my Levi's denim jackets. I think it may be just a little bit more expensive. The denim is nice quality and it's soft. It's gonna break in really nicely. Like this is well made and this will hold up over time because that's what you want from a denim jacket. You want it to break in, you want it to get more comfortable. All right, and what else did I get? Looks like two t-shirts. This is that heavyweight t-shirt that I showed you guys in pink not too long ago. This is just a basic white t-shirt, so no need to get into that right now. And then I got this navy and white striped t-shirt that is a little bit more lightweight. I'll probably wear this with that denim jacket and some khakis, and it'll be a clean menswear look. Not everything has to be streetwear, and uh, I think this is gonna go great with the denim jacket and uh, some chinos. I have some from Everlane already. It's a nice menswear shop, so if you're unfamiliar, good quality products at an affordable price. This video is not sponsored by them. I just truly like the brand. If you're interested, check the link down below and uh, you guys can see what they have. All right, now let's get into some new sneakers. I got these like a week ago, have not shown them yet. You're damn right that I went ahead and checked them out already. So here we go. You know what that box is. I'm not spending too much time on these. I had to get these, bro. So here we go with the Air Jordan 3 Tinker. If you're a fan of Jordan 3s, you likely picked these up as well. I'm not gonna talk about them very much because you've seen a lot of people already unbox them, but I just gotta say this. I have never had a shoe quite grow on me like this sneaker did. When I first saw pictures, I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not down with that Nike swoosh on the side of a Jordan 3. It looks like a fusion. And then the more I saw pictures, the more I heard the backstory, it just hooked me. And I saw them on feet and I was like, damn, I totally changed my mind about those. And I went ahead and grabbed them when they released 
on the sneakers app, I actually got through and got a pair, which doesn't happen for me much. I've been striking out like crazy. Let me know if you guys have had any luck on the sneakers app recently because I have not been able to cop anything good. Like it's just strike out, strike out, strike out, strike out. I got these and you know, I think that these are actually sitting in some places. I saw Mike Rich did a mall vlog and these were on the shelf. So um, I don't know if that's everywhere. I don't think it is. That Nike Air on the back, man, come on. That was one of the biggest selling points for me. I really like these and there's definitely gonna be more colorways. So I'm excited to cop those. All right, so completely switching gears. I've got two new pairs of track pants to show you guys and I'm very hyped on these. They're both from Mint Crew. This black pair is so dope. I'm totally obsessed with these right now and the color combination on here is really what sold me the side has five stripes going down the side five but it's not overkill somehow it works you've got red gold yellow white and gray all sitting on top of a black pant you've got mint crew embroidered on the left side a white drawstring two front pockets and a really nice tapered fit these are not like super slim fitting and they're not baggy. The fit on these pants is great. And just as a reminder, I'm 6'2", 190. I always forget to say that. And this is a size large and they fit me perfectly. So I would say go true to size. If you go ahead and grab a pair of these pants, I'll be sure to link them down below. I also got a navy pair that I have not checked out yet. These are the same exact pants, just in navy. Same stripe combination on the side. Same mint crew embroidery on the front. Same fit. The pants are exactly the same. So it's just your preference. What do you want? Navy or black? I like having both options honestly and I've been trying to cop more navy sneakers recently so these will probably go well with those but that black pair man these are a problem this combination is fire until it gets too hot for me to wear these I'll be breaking out this combination often but the pants are pretty lightweight and they're breathable all right next up I got a pair of shorts that you guys have been hounding me about and I posted these on my Instagram a few days ago my DMS have just been all questions about these shorts where people can pick them up what brand they are yada 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 and honestly I was saving these for a hundred dollar outfit challenge because these are only 20 bucks. An absolute steal you can get these shorts for. And they're obviously on trend. It's a basketball short with the varsity ribbing style. I don't wanna talk too much about these right now because I plan on sharing them in a $100 outfit challenge that's gonna be coming up soon. And they have those Michigan Wolverine colors and uh, that's pretty cool. They've got a back zipper as well, but I'm not talking about these much. But 20 bucks, if you wanna go ahead and grab them, you can do that. I'll link them down below but you will see these in a future video. All right, next up, I got two pickups from Carhartt. First up is this hat that is just very basic and straightforward. It's this washed tan color with a Velcro back and then the classic Carhartt logo in the front done in leather. So I was buying a new fishing pole up in Bass Pro Shop and I saw these hats on display and I was like, you know what? Let me try those on. I threw this tan joint right on my dome and I was like, whoo, looked in the mirror and was like, yes, sir. That's leaving with me. It was $16.99. But for real, I had been wanting one of these Carhartt hats and uh, we'll see how often I wear that. If I wear it a lot, I'll grab a different color. They're all like washed colors. So there's like a charcoal gray that's washed, an olive green, that tan. I haven't seen a red or any like popping colors, but you know, like earth tones. That is the gist with these hats. And then a few days later, I went ahead and grabbed this Carhartt pocket t-shirt for $16.99. Carhartt makes great t-shirts. This is certainly not my first Carhartt t-shirt, but this is actually the first time I've gotten it in black. This is a great basic t-shirt. It's heavy weight, and that's what I prefer in a lot of my t-shirts. You get a small logo on the pocket on the left side, and that's enough. Just a small detail is really all you need. They offer this shirt in a bunch of different colors. Forest green and red are next on my hit list. And uh, this has an oversized fit. I can't tell you any other t-shirt I have in my closet that is a size large. This is the only size large that I have. Typically, I'm an XL or double XL. That says something. This is very oversized. I know people that go down 
two sizes. So keep that in mind if you go ahead and grab one of these. The cheapest site that I can find that carries these, I will link down below. I was actually thinking about doing my top five basic t-shirts for summer list. There's a few that I've never shared with you guys. So if you wanna see that video, let me know down in the comment section. Just all basic tees, great essentials for the summertime. This one is definitely on that list. All right guys, so there you go with my newest spring pickups. Definitely hit the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys have been picking up this spring. What are you eyeing for this summer? A lot of good videos on the way. My spring lookbook might have already dropped. I don't know when I'm gonna release this video, but check out my channel because I've put out a lot of new content recently and if you missed anything, go watch it. That's a wrap on this one though. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.